point is this, yeah? I believe you lot are stuck in the old covenant. Yeah? You lot preach about Jesus, but you deny Jesus by preaching the law. The thing is, God says two laws way up here in the hole, yeah? Love God with your heart, soul, strength, and mind, and you love your neighbor as yourself, yeah? Okay. Jesus didn't say he come to abolish the law, but to fulfill it. Okay. The whole point of him coming was because when we stand before a holy God, we're going to be found liars, hypocrites, and we've all broken the law. Do you believe that? We've all broken What's God's the law. Alright, so the point is Jesus. The so point you're is saying the we point don't is, believe in Jesus no. because we're teaching the commandment. Yeah. Bro, no, no. You don't believe in Jesus because you're stuck in the Old Testament. Where's the new? Where's the new covenant? The new What's the new covenant? What is the new covenant? You tell me. Can you tell me? You tell me. I can't you, tell you're bringing up the point. What is it? I can tell you. Alright, you, you, you want me to teach love, you? Love, love, love. No, I want to hear your understanding. Alright, alright, alright. All right. The new covenant is this, yeah? That God will like write his law and mind in their hearts. That they will not sin against him. By what? How? How has that happened? By Jesus. By him coming, dying on the cross, rising again. For those who believe in him, shall not perish, but have eternal life. So rise. do we keep the commandments? Yes or no? By God writing them in your hearts when do you are born again. Do we keep the commandments? Yes or no? You keep God's commandments, but it's like if you're so focused, so what on, commandments if you're so focused on, on just the commandments and then you exclude Jesus... Revelation then you're not following you Jesus. Right, you're following yourself. This is the book. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 14 and verse 12. Read out. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. So this is the last book, right? It says, wait, wait, let me finish. It says, here are they that keep the commandments of God. Right? Keep the commandments of God. And the faith of Jesus and the faith of Jesus. So we keep the commandments of God and the faith in Jesus. What God? You're breaking the commandments right now. How? What's this? Okay, let's get that. Let's get that. I should go get Hosea. By the image. Is it free? Already you've broken the commandments. Well, they are free. Which one? Where it says, don't make no graven image of God. Okay, What's this black man that's high? We're going to get there. We're going to get there. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 3 and verse 4. Bring it out. For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king. You're we're right talking it. about the children of Israel, right? They're going to abide right. many days without a king. Listen, we're listen, we're listen. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. And without a prince, and without a sacrifice, and without an image. Without what? An image! So the children of Israel will abide without an image. That's, That's right. right. Imagery is important. That's right. Now, wait, 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 wait. Now let's go to Exodus 20. Yep. Now let's go to Exodus 20. He said, what, what commandments breaking graven images, right? Yeah, you guys listen to this. All right. Listen to this. Yeah, little man, listen as well. Yeah, Read. This is why you got to understand the Bible. Read. That's right. This is the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 4. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. What is this? So you shouldn't make any graven image, right? What is that? Right? Read. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt... So it carries on, right? The Lord ain't finished yet. Read. Thou shalt not bow down thou thyself to them. That's the Lord. Don't make any graven images to bow down yourself. Oh, that's right. Listen, let me finish. Right. Let me finish. We are not bowing down to this image. But you made one. Wait. Yeah. We are not saying that this image is Jesus. Wait. We're saying that the Bible describes a man that looks more like that than like this. That's, right. That's the point. Again, for a young man like this, they've been seeing this all their life. So now we're showing them the true description of Jesus according to the Bible. So they can see physically that he's not looking like this, but he looks more like this. Do you understand? Do you understand? Wait, because in, wait, wait, wait. Because in the temple, was it 1 Kings 7? Oh, brother, brother. 1 Kings 7. We're going to show you they had images. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. So we're going to show you when they built the temple, 
They had images in the temple. Because it said, what, well, Exodus 20? That you shouldn't make no graven image of things in the heaven, right? Are angels in heaven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, read that. This is the book of 1 Kings, chapter 6 and verse 27. And he set the cherubims within the inner house. What's a cherubim? Right? But he set a cherubim in the inner house. Read. In the inner house. And they stretched forth the wings of the cherubims. So that the wing of the one touched the one wall. And the wing of the other cherub, cherub touched the other wall. And their wing touched one another in the midst of the house. So there was two cherubs or images of angels in the temple. That's so right. they had images, but they didn't bow down unto it. Right. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. Do you understand that? Okay, I understand that. Do you agree? I agree that they made the ark. They did. They made the ark. Go on. But I was going to say, I was going to say, even still, yeah, God says to worship him in the spirit of truth, yeah, he says that he's come to the Gentiles. What's the spirit? What's the spirit of God? What's the spirit? The spirit. What is the spirit? The Holy Spirit. What's the spirit? You said worship what's him in the spirit. What's, what's, what's the mean? spirit? What's a spirit? What's the spirit? How do you worship God in the spirit? Everyone's got a spirit. I believe what that means is you worship him with yourself, the truth, isn't it? Like you, it's, it's not about the What's flesh. the truth? I would say it's found in Jesus. Give me the truth. Get me the truth. Because see when you read the Bible, right? Yeah. You have to understand it's what you're reading. It's spiritually discerned. You have to go precept upon precept. Yeah, yeah. But understand? Brother, brother, let me say hold this. on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, we're dealing with truth now. Okay, no, hold but, but, but on, before you do that, let me just speak, please. Let me, before you do that. Let me read this. Because this is cowardly. We're going one, one thing this at a time. Cowardly. One thing at a time. This isn't... Little brothers. I don't read nice it. one, nice one, bro. Read take that. Care, care. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, so verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law... Thy what? And thy law... Thy what? And thy law is the truth. Thy law is the truth. Yes, we are going to hear about the law. Because you want to teach me so much and I can't speak. Tell me what the new Go covenant on, is. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sister. Yeah. The new testament. Sure the new Sis, testament. how you doing? You all right? Come over, come over. Come, come, come. You're, she's got any questions? Yeah, hey, hey, yeah, yeah. She's got any questions? Do you know your nationality according to the Bible? Why are you focusing on the woman, man? We're here, bro. Because you're, you're quick. Are you trying to learn or are you just trying to debate? Um, I want to have a combo. But you trying, you, 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 you've been here before, right? Yeah, I've been here before. She ain't been here before. She ain't heard this before. I know, but I know, but bro, it's pride to think that you're, you're the only one who can teach men the word. Like, bro, if you want to teach, you can set up no, and no, teach. No, 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 but I want to, I'm, I'm trying to, we're trying to find truth, innit? We're trying to find truth. So trying I don't feel like you're trying to find truth. I feel like you're just trying to just go back and forth for bro, no bro, reason. Bro, 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 end of the day, bro, it's like, I don't want no one to be deceived. You probably don't want no one to be deceived. So let's find the truth. What is the new covenant? Read it, God. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 8 and verse, start from verse 7. Verse 8. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not save the Lord. For this is the covenant that I make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws in their mind and write them in their hearts and I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people. So that's what, what you want to say, hear, isn't down, it? What does it say more down? We're not going to read the whole chapter. Why not? That's what you want to hear. That's the new covenant. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time.